Hey, what's up guys? This is Juan, and I'm bringing you another video on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So I got a quick little story I wanted to tell you guys. So, as you guys know from my previous video, I have a OnePlus 7 Pro T-Mobile variant, which, same hardware, but software is slightly different. So, I think I mentioned this before, but I use this phone for work mainly for GPS. And I've been having a lot of issues with the GPS. And I was talking to OnePlus support, and they told me they had sent out some updates to address some of those issues. But they were sent out for the international versions, as well as the T-Mobile versions, but... For some reason, T-Mobile takes longer to send those updates out to the T-Mobile variants. And, you know, it was kind of frustrating. So I was online, you know, doing some research and trying to see what I can do. And I noticed a couple people talking about converting the OnePlus 7 Pro to the international software. So I was a little bit hesitant because... There's not much information on it. There's a couple of how-to videos online. But there's not really people showing about how it runs after you do the conversion to international. So you know what? I was like, what the heck? Let me give it a shot and see how it turns out. The process is pretty easy. I'm going to link the guide below. So you guys can follow the directions I followed. It's pretty easy. You need to download three different items. And put those items into one folder. You're going to run a program called the MSM tool, I believe. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the process, once I got everything downloaded, thrown into the folder, and ran the program, it took about 10 minutes or so before the phone shut off converted and powered back on after the first boot up it does take time for it to turn on so if you do try to attempt this don't worry if the first boot up takes time that's just what it does but i wanted to show you guys my experience on after doing this because this thing has gotten faster for me and it's hard to believe because this phone was already fast but this thing is, this is a T-Mobile variant, Nebula Blue, 8 gig, 256. This is a Samsung case I just picked up. It's pretty clean. I like it. It exposes the sides, the bottom. So as you can see, I don't know if you guys know, but the T-Mobile variant doesn't have this logo up top for the voice over Wi-Fi. Trying to get that in focus for you guys. I'm sorry about that. And once I converted it, that logo was up there automatically. And no T-Mobile apps pre-installed. And let me show you guys real quick. This is the latest build for the international and the unlocked OnePlus 7 Pros. When you have the T-Mobile variant, T-Mobile is pushing out the 10.0.3. That's the latest one they give you. This is the 10.3.1, which is, like I said, goes to unlocked and international variants. Once I converted my software, I got that version right away. And the cool thing is, show you something real quick. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this behind the camera. When you go to software updates, it no longer gives you the T-Mobile system update. This is the original Oxygen OS update. As you can see, I'm running the latest on the T-Mobile variant. Everything has ran smoothly. Camera performance is good. 
And like I said, this thing has gotten snappier. I mean, it's hard to tell on the camera, but no issues. Super clean. And I just wanted to show you guys, like I said, I did my research. There's a couple how-to videos, but nothing really on after doing it, how the experience is. And it is super quick. I mean, granted, it's only been a couple hours. I know a couple people were saying that they were getting SIM locks after doing the conversion. So I'm going to see if that happens to me. But I think they were on the open beta when that, when that happened. So I'm not going to do any open betas. I'm just going to leave it and install whatever OnePlus pushes to the phone. But now, after the conversion, anytime OnePlus sends out an update, I'm going to get it right away on the T-Mobile variant. And man, this thing flies. I haven't been happier with a phone. Oxygen OS is the best Android skin, in my opinion. And the phone is clean. Look at this. As you can see, this thing is super snappy. But I just wanted to make this video for a couple people that's maybe worried about doing the conversion and maybe it not working out properly and, you know, the experience afterwards. From my experience, it's a no-brainer. If you can do it, I would do it. Um, I believe it gives you the option as well to use dual SIM, but you have to buy a dual SIM card slot because the T-Mobile variant brings a single SIM card slot. So, guys, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe so I can keep making these videos. That really does help me out, guys. Um... And yeah, so far, like I said, this phone has blown me away. And even better on the international software. So, no more T-Mobile bloat. Uh, no more slow updates. Um, everything's running perfect. So, I'll update, I'll update you guys in a couple of days. And let you know how everything's going. Like I said, if you have any questions, if you want me to test anything out. Um, drop me a comment and... I'll get to it as fast as I can. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Peace.